What is facial rejuvenation? Facial rejuvenation is a procedure or combination of procedures intended to make the face look more youthful. That could be a variety of things. It could start with the skin. It could be skin resurfacing, where we plane down the skin, we get rid of pigmentary things, dyschromias, we get rid of wrinkles by planing down the skin. That can be done with a dermabrader, with a laser, with a chemical, chemical peel. It involves lifting the skin. We can lift the skin in a variety of areas. What are the most common facial rejuvenation procedures? Lifting up the eyebrow, lifting up the cheek fat pad, the jowl fat pad, the neck, and redundant skin in that area. It could be bony surgery. We've got a, somebody that has a weak chin, we augment the chin. It could be something where we take tissue out that has become redundant, like in the upper or the lower eyelids the bulges of fat in the lower eyelids, the redundant skin of the upper eyelids. That's called blepharoplasty. It can be any combination of these things. So those are the common procedures. A brow lift, upper blepharoplasty or eyelid lift, lower blepharoplasty, eyelid tightening, skin removal, fat re removal or fat transposition. It could be lower facial lifting, cheek lift, jowl lift, neck lift, a lower face lift which can be done in a lot of different ways. How long does facial rejuvenation last? So how long does that last? People ask me this all the time. Every time I talk to somebody about a facial rejuvenation procedure, they say to me, how long will this last? Well, there are a lot of factors with that. It's how I do things, what I choose to do, and how I do the things that we choose together to do to you. Some things, like doing something to the chin or the nose, last, they should last almost forever until you pass away. But lifting procedures, gravity gets to them and they have a sort of a finite lasting thing. With a, a lower face and neck lift, I often quote to people 10 to 12 years, but some of that is based upon whether or not the patient wants more rejuvenation during the interim period. As I tell everybody, you're going to age after I do this procedure. You're gonna age at your own rate. I don't know how fast that'll be. So some patients with fuller faces tend to age better, and super skinny faces, faces without very much fat there, they age sort of poorly. Fat looks good on our face in the right areas, but maybe not so good around our tummy. How much does facial rejuvenation cost? This is a real can of worms. It's a real big range. It's based on what are we choosing? Are we just taking skin out of your upper eyelids? Or are we doing a brow lift, hairline advancement, upper eyelids, lower eyelids, cheek, jowl, and neck lift, lip lift, and full face resurfacing? That costs more. A total thing like that for me might be $45,000, but there are surgeons that charge much more here in Beverly Hills. So there's a lot of variation between what you need, what you want, and what I might suggest for you. To me, the key to this is having a good consultation with somebody that you trust, that can be honest with you, that can tell you about the intense goals of the procedures, the downsides, the potential side effects, whether you ought to have these all at once or in, in segments, and talking about all those things. I would love to talk to you about your facial rejuvenation wants and needs. And it is a want, not exactly a need. We don't need to have this, but we want to have this. We feel like it's a need for us. What do you want? I don't know. You've got to meet with me, either on the phone with a virtual consultation, with some questions, or in person. That's the preferable way to do it. And then we have to decide together in that consultation what you want and decide if you want to do it. I look forward to seeing you in my office.